Hello and welcome to another video. Today we are going to be talking about multi-factor authentication and what your users will experience when it is enabled. Multi-factor authentication is exactly what it sounds like. It enforces that when you log into Salesforce, you will have to verify your identity to make sure that it is you logging in. It is a really easy way that you can increase data security in your org without making your users' lives too difficult. From the 1st of February 2022, Salesforce will be enabling multi-factor authentication automatically for all Salesforce users. The best practice is to roll it out ahead of then to give your users time to adjust and work out any issues. If you aren't able to resolve the issues or you do not want multi-factor authentication, you still have the option to turn it off. There are a few different ways to verify your identity using multi-factor authentication. The Salesforce Authenticator app, a third-party authentication app, or a U2F or Web Authentication Security Key. We're going to be using the Salesforce Authenticator app in this example. Enabling multi-factor authentication is simple. All you have to do is simply assign the multi-factor authentication for user interface logins to a permission set and then to your users. The first step is downloading the app. As mentioned before, there are multiple authentication apps you can use, but if you would like to use the Salesforce Authenticator app, scan the QR code to download the app from either Apple or Google stores. Once the app is downloaded, we need to start using the app and our login screen at the same time. Open your login screen and enter your login credentials. As multi-factor authentication has now been enabled, the login screen will take you to the next screen, which will ask you to connect your login to the Authenticator app. If you are not using the Salesforce Authenticator app, and instead a different method, choose the Choose Another Verification Method button at the bottom. Click the Add Account button on your app and enter the unique two-word phrase from your app into the login screen. Your app screen will then change to show the details of your login. Make sure those details are correct and then click Connect. You have now successfully connected your authenticator to your login and you will now be able to log into Salesforce. Now, whenever you log into Salesforce, you will enter your username and password as usual, and then a prompt is sent to your Authenticator app. The prompt will appear in the app and you can confirm that it is you logging in. Once confirmed on the app, you will be logged into Salesforce and you can start your day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.